Okay, so super quick overview of System Hub. Thing I really like having a single sign on with Google, basically click and you're in. In terms of how it's laid out, it's there's intentional constraints, so you don't have to think about how you want to format stuff. Basically, systems is how you do your day-to-day -day policies, how you handle the one percenters that come up in your business, and training is how you on-ramp people into your business or how you upskill up people into your business. This is how things typically would appear. Everything is in alphabetical order. This is one of those intentional things. Rather than people wasting time trying to reorganize stuff, you can see I use a numbered format here for some of my stuff. But to add a new system, quite simply, either add a folder, like a subfolder, or add a system. I might do a new system here. And let's say I'm missing 0.5 there because I'm building out this process and just basically drop that in there. And it gives me some of these standardized options, which is basically an overview of the system, a sentence to explain what the purpose of that system is all the content you could possibly want there with all your sort of normal standard formatting options, whether it's quotations and photos in line and so on. Embedding videos down here, I usually embed all my videos down below the main content. We tend not to use things like screenshots because screenshots get out of date really quickly and easily. So we usually do more text-based stuff. Templates. Templates is actually where we add plain text email templates. Obviously, attachments and supporting notes, like I link this back to my old Google site stuff for the motel. Tags, I don't personally use tags, but it's a really powerful way of improving search and comments, which I'll explain later. Down the right-hand side here, there is always an owner and a secondary owner because these are the people responsible for keeping the system up to date. And there is comprehensive version control. So you can basically click a button, leave the existing version behind, and then get someone to re rework a new version altogether. There's a little traffic light thing up here. Basically, green is good. Purple I use if I've typically just got a video only and it needs to be documented. Gray is out of use, like it hasn't been created yet. Orange is, it's basically, there's some problems with it, but it's in principle okay. And red means do not use, there's problems with it. That's my internal coding, and I recommend people have their own little way that they use that traffic light system. Now, with this over here, I mentioned about the owners. If I went, hey, this is wrong or something like that, and I click comment, it will send an email notification to the owner and the secondary owner. I think the agreement and the notify stuff down here is really handy. For example, here I'm saying, yes, I agree to that document. And then if I'm, let's say, managing this and I go in here and I want to go, who's been keeping on top of this? Okay, James is on top of it, but not Alison. As I mentioned, I can click that notify button here for people who have not agreed. But interesting, there is this other notify button down here which basically tells people when there's a big update. So if I do that, it sends everyone an email saying, hey, there has been a substantial change. You need to go and review this process. And so it's really quick and easy. Just click the button rather than have to send emails around or use message boards and things like that. So in terms of some other features, I'm going to grab in a process from the motel here. So where this is really cool and systemology in general are very generous with the, some of the stuff they give away, you can share processes externally. So this is an external share link. You don't need to have a login. And basically, I can copy that link and I can give it to anyone and they can view it with or without a System Hub login. If I don't like who I've given that out to, I can click Regenerate and that kills the old share and it hides my IP. Where I think there's the strength for bigger businesses is once you get into some of the company settings, company settings in terms of members, fairly obvious roles. So roles, for example, customer support, the delivery, finance, or whatever it might be, you can see I've added individual members. Typically, the way I structure everything myself at a folder level, so I might go delivery, I want to basically assign, rather than clicking individual people's names, which would take forever and it would always be out of date, basically, I want to assign people in delivery and click assign. That's how I do it. Anytime you bring in a new person into a particular role, at a user level, when they come in as a new member, you basically just add the new user and you say, I want them to be a this role, but they also do some marketing and then it's automatically rolled out. So they automatically get permission to everything they need and nothing that they don't. And then there's the search. Search is pretty straightforward. So if I went back to the main, main here, you can search either systems, policies and training or based on roles and things like that. I'm just going to drop into training briefly and I'm going to grab a process. So I'm going to grab this URL up here and I'll just show you how the training side of things go. So policies is very much policies is very much like systems. It just helps keep people's thought process separate. But in terms of training, if I want to go in and add some new training under here, and what you can do is 
you can put some a bit of an overview there about the training. You can embed some videos there, but you actually create a learning track. So you find the relevant processes within System Hub. Say, let's say how many minutes it might take to do that particular, to learn that particular step and add the training. So once that's saved, you can see here, um, now I've actually already clicked agree for that, but what you can do is you can go in there and see how far people have got through particular training. So you can create this sort of training and onboarding course simply by them going through and clicking agree to their different, different steps. Okay, that's a really quick run through. I hope that helps give you some clarity. Shout out if you've got any questions. Cheers. See you.